Matt with Mountain Mike's Reproductions. Today I'm going to show you how to use our Skullmaster kit. Um, this is a, happens to be our barbed wire. It's a, it's a hydro dipped process skull. Looks pretty cool. And now we sell them in single sizes, so you don't have the extra top lid if you don't need it. Some people now know how to use our kits, and they don't. They know that uh, what size diameter they need. So you can buy them single size, or you can buy the old, uh, the original universal size that comes with the two different size top sections to interchange on here. So we're going to mount this up today. I'm going to show you how to uh, properly measure your width, get them exactly the same on the skull, adjust the skull cap so that you've got the exact same width on your antlers as you do when you started with, so it's exactly original. Um, I'm going to show you how to use a super glue technique for mounting your antlers. Uh, we do a lot of different uh, videos and we've done a lot of seminars showing people how to mount them up with uh, just you know trial, trial and error fitting here and there and, and works really well. Some people say they're having a hard time holding the antler in place and they think they might need a special vise or something like that to get them right. This technique takes all that guesswork out of it. You know, once you get the width right, you just super glue them on. But then you do pre-drill and put the screws in, but there's no waiting and holding and everything like that. It's very simple to do. So I'll show you how to do that. Let's get started. All right, got our set of antlers here. We're going to measure them ahead of time. We're going to use the main beam right at 20 inches wide. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and cut these off and make sure they're 20 inches once they get on the skull master. Now, I can, you can use any vise, like I said before. Any vise will work. Just wrap your, a towel around this if you're worried about uh, hurting any of the, any of the uh, little, little burrs and whatnot. Um, don't worry. But this vise that I made, um, it just, it's quick and easy, and, show, and I can show you guys how to use it without having a vise in the way, a big vise. Um, but any clamp will work. Okay, got them clamped, going to cut these antlers off. Just make sure you cut directly below the burr. You don't want to cut the burr off, but you want a nice, straight cut directly below the burr. Flush. They're they're pretty nice for cutting them off. Now we got to square them up even more. I don't like to have anything hanging down below the burr. I want a nice flush surface below the burr. Even if that means taking off just a little bit of the burr, because some of the burrs are real uneven. Because the main thing is, if you have a flat transition between the artificial skull and the real antler, it'll look real natural. If you if you try to leave some of the original pedicle on the antler, it, no matter if it's a it's a shed or a harvest animal. It'll never line up perfect and the look to me it looks fake. I don't like it. So I go ahead and take a little bit extra off. You can do that with either a disc sander, a hand palm sander. You can use uh, a file, you can use anything. I use a big uh, a big disc like this. This is an orbital disc, looks fine. this up a little bit. I'm going to show you how to use it. Um, my disc sander and I use it because it really works good to get a perfectly flat surface and on the super glue technique you need to do that. Whether you take extra time with your palm sander or what, but I'm going to go ahead and finish this up with. Okay, we're going to trial fit the antlers. Put them in the right presentation, you measure them, and you find out that we're half of an so inch going to change the angle of these pedicles just a little bit, and that's going to be about half an inch right about there. Okay, perfect. So this gap that develops on the bottom, I got to take that material off the top. I'm going to change the angle just to bring the width in. If I wanted to open them up, I would have to take uh, material off the bottom so that the angle would change. So I say take a little bit off each one, about a 32nd of an inch off of the top. So I'm going to do that over here on my sander. Once again, I'm going to show you how to use the palm sander. 
the same type of thing. Once I find I got material to take off, I don't need to have to have a disc like this. I just use it because I've used it forever and I got one and it's fast. Um, but this is your palm sander. Just use that angle, take a little bit off the top. Don't worry about going through the finish because right here where the antlers are fixed, we won't be able to see it anyway. And the, the finish is durable. So when you take that off, it doesn't make any difference. It's still going to look perfect when it's done. Okay, now it's time for the super glue. All we're going to do is just put a thin bead of super glue around each pedicle. We can do one at a time, we can do them both. The fastest thing to do, obviously, is to do both, so we're going to do both. Just, just go right, don't use too much, just enough to put a little line around each pedicle. I'm going to do this in real time so there's no tricks. Okay, get your antlers, lay them on there so they where they look they look right, right about, you only got a few seconds to worry about it, right there. And you just hold them there. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008, 1009, 1010. 10 seconds. And they're on. So all we got to do now is uh, carefully, they're still going to be a little bit fragile because it's just holding them in place just to get the screw holes done. Now, with your 3 16 drill bit, Go ahead and pre-drill the antlers. Get your screws out. mount the top piece to the bottom piece. Now you don't need to over tighten these screws. So a lot of people, you know, these are screw guns and I, I use them an awful lot because I use them every single day, but the very hand screwdriver works plenty good enough. You just want to snug those down. And there you have it. It's exactly the way it was when I had it before I took it off the skull plate. It's a harvested set, it's on a dip skull, it couldn't have been any easier to do, and it looks great. So the super glue technique is fast. There's no fumbling around, you get it the way you want, as soon as it's worth a five minute job. Now we're going to go ahead and mount it on the wall with the positioner. What this positioner does is it allows you to change the angle of your skull on the wall real simple. If you just go ahead and hang a nail on the wall and use the keyhole in the back, that's great for the higher walls. Most of us don't have... 12 foot walls or a 10 foot plus wall. So you, do, you end up having looking at, at a skull like this on the wall. Um, that's not natural. None of us have seen, unless a deer is feeding and guys head half cocked, you've always got the animal looking towards us or looking around. So you want that presentation. This positioner will do that for you very, very quickly. You still only need one hole in the wall, so you're not going to be messing up your house. Take your bracket out, comes with two number 10 screws. This peg right here utilizes the keyhole in the back of our skull. As you can see, it just goes ahead and slides in the keyhole and locks in. It's, it's just that easy. So we mount the bracket to the wall, adjust the angle. If it's low, it's going to be more of an angle, such like this. If it's going to be high, it's going to be less of an angle until you get up to a point where you don't even need it, like I was saying. So at about this height, you'd like it about like that. So once you get that angle right, you just tighten down your hex head screws, it's done. If this was a real skull, pig skull, a bear skull, uh, antelope skull, you just take that peg right there, the stud, and slide it down till it hits the back of the spinal cord canal. On a real skull, there would be obviously your spinal cord comes in right here. So we just slide it between the teeth till it locks in right there. At that point, there's a hole right here, and it's a very thick part of the skull. Because we're using a number 10 screw, we want to pre-drill an eighth of an inch drill bit. Drill right through the skull there, install one of your uh, number 10 screws and your real skull will be on here and be fully positionable. So, like I said, natural skulls, my skulls, any skulls, it's going to work great. 
it's just a perfect way to get the, an authentic looking display or your trophies looking respectable. So that, I think they're a, they're a must, especially if you have a short wall like I have in my house. Here it is, already done, five minutes worth of work. We've got a very beautiful display. Um, the tilt of the antlers is perfect, so it shows off our trophy and gives it a lot of respect. Gives it the look we'd see in the wild. So thanks for watching and uh, check out some of our new products too. Also we got some great new products, a Black Forest Edition plaque, we got a rack plaque. Uh, we got all the Bone Collector series. We've got some great cool new products. I think you guys are really going to like them. So check out our website and uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you.